Okay, so now I'm going to come back to Maggie. So Maggie, um, we want to talk about what all girls love to talk about. Clothes and shoes. <laughs> what do these women need in terms of a recruitment wardrobe and a sorority wardrobe? Okay, um, so I'm sure, as most of you know, there's about four days of recruitment. Um, and each day actually kind of varies with your wardrobe. And again, this does differ from school to school. So, um, for example, at Georgia Tech, our wardrobe, I guess, requirements were a lot more casual than my sister had at Auburn. Um, so, for example, for round one, um, for us, it was more, I mean, they'll send you kind of pictures and examples of things you can wear, but for us, I think we were allowed to wear, um, just like, for example, nice shorts and a cute top. Um, I mean, other more intense schools, maybe a nice sundress. Um, I think the main thing to think about is never wear anything that doesn't really um, stand out, because there are, if you think about it, thousands of girls going through recruitment, and you need to wear something that they're going to be like, oh, who was that again? Um, oh, she was wearing that really cute pink dress with the flowers on it, or whatever. Um, something that they will be able to remember you by. I'm not saying you need to wear a neon afro, or anything like that, but you do need to wear something that is cute and rememberable. Um, so round two, I think it was pretty much the same thing. Um, I mean, I've actually been kind of noticing some of the things that you girls are wearing, and you all look wonderful. So things like you're wearing now, um, of course it'll be hot because it's summer, but um, so then on um, third and fourth round, it gets a little more serious because you're going to um, less of the sorority houses. So for example, on prep night, you'll probably wear a more fancier dress, not, don't think Paul can own, but um, for example, I wore a nice Lily Bolter um, summery looking dress. Um, so yeah, most important advice I will give you though is wear comfortable shoes. This is huge. For example, right now I'm wearing these very cute watermelon colored flats. However, my heels are hurting so badly. <laughs> so if I were walking around to story to story, I would be dying. So I've seen many girls with band-aids, don't even bother. Wear shoes that are comfortable. I promise you, you will thank me later. Um, so, um, also just once you've been initiated, some things you might need is just a nice black and white dress, just plain black and white. That's for things like initiation. Um, and then also you'll need some cute dresses for semi-formals and formals. So actually what I've done, I keep referencing, referencing my sister, but um, from our old homecoming to proms from high school, we're actually reusing each other's dresses. Um, so for example, we have our formal on March 9th. So I'll just probably wear one of our old prom dresses. So, um, so yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> but also, don't, I think another important advice, sorry, I'm babbling on, but um, I think with clothes, is never wear something that doesn't really show you. Um, I think this is a good, a good topic for a lot of different areas of life. I, th I think it's important to never wear something that you wouldn't normally wear, especially going through recruitment. So say you really like the sorority and all of them wear cute whatever brand. If you don't wear that brand and you actually think, get things of that brand to fit in at that sorority or whatever, um, you're going to be miserable because that's not who you are. I think the main thing is to stay true to who you are and through that you will find your best fit. So.